After a whole month of waiting, they are finally here. Attribute this very big delay to the fact that I'm a snail paste editor and I have a life. Wait, no I don't. Yo <laughs> you've commented, you've cast your ballots, and the time has been up for crazy long. So, without further ado, the first request-a-thon video is... light years away from Earth, on the planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. And we start! Of course, there's a tutorial. But we don't have time for tutorials. Let's get going. So since this game doesn't really have a traditional story, more lore beats thrown out there for you to discover. Who do you think you are? Destiny 2. First of all, there are other ranchers, like this lady over here. You're not on the whole planet by yourself. But, up to what I played, they just give you fetch quests. And you get something in reward, because it's a fetch quest. We also slept for a whole year coming to the far, far range, and Beatrix used to be a gardener. And... Oh. Oh no. Clean up on aisle two- I got your mail. Of course I remember that day. I felt like that was when you and I really connected. It was raining so hard that the streets were flooding and we took shelter in that cafe. It was like it was like a scene from a movie. Only we both looked like wet animals. And the guy running the shop was real tiring too. The only way we could stay inside was by ordering one coffee after another. I felt like we learned more about each other that day than ever. Maybe it was the coffee, because we were both talking really, really fast. I told you about my dreams, making music and all that. At least that's how I remember it. Walking home, when the rain came back, you got closer to me, and my heart was racing. But I couldn't blame that on the coffee. What, what the hell was that cheesy, cheesy bullshit tonight? tonight? What, what happened, happened to slime ranching? I'm telling you, this is very much part of the story. I was confused at first, but I came to find out that we get mails from this person called Casey. Could be a guy, could be a girl. I have no idea. Nobody has an idea. Who's definitely in love or is with Beatrix since there's a lot of throwaway lines throughout the game. Now that lore is out of the way, let me explain the main gameplay loop. You suck slimes in, put them in a pen, and take care of them. Plant crops, raise chickens, and relax in this far, far range. There is an objective. As you discover different slimes and learn their diet, you can then encounter these really big slimes. Even bigger than the hybrid largos you could make. Your goal is to... Well, see for yourself. Yeah, you feed them till they go. These gordo, Spanish for fat, slimes drop slime keys that can open gates scattered throughout the world. These gates lead you to new areas with new slime species, which means more gordos and more keys. Rinse, repeat. There are also these hidden messages left by Hobson Twilgers, who was the previous owner of the ranch that we're in right now. That's about all I learned from my 7 hour playthrough, but the cryptic story is by no means the defining charm of this game. That is of course, the ranching itself. Warning, tar defense protocol failure. The ranch is under attack. Gotta go.
like there have to be only one survivor. He does not. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> There's one last enemy that I forgot to mention, the tar. These guys are corrupted slimes that form when a slime eats a plort that doesn't correspond to its hybrid Largo species. For example, let's assume you have Tabby Slime A. You give that Tabby Slime a plort of Slime B, and that creates a Largo, but if that Largo were to eat, I don't know, a pink slime plort, that means it would turn into a tar. These guys eat everything in their way and only produce more tar. Their weakness is water, but I didn't know that at the moment. So yeah. My once beautiful ranch got absolutely decimated, but I rebuilt and set up a pretty decent looking ranch by the time my playthrough concluded. I also found this yarn ball in the jungle area that I unlocked with the first slime key and brought it all the way back to the ranch. That is a big fat lie. Oh, you don't believe me? I'll prove it. That's about all the interesting things I did in my 7 hours of playtime, so before I wrap this up, see what I did there, I'll give you guys a little ranch tour and end it there. Recording this ranch tour, I found something called a lucky slime and I wanted to get him to put him in an enclosure. Apparently, you can't do that. But just before I knew it, that happened. Like, how? Why did it eat it? Just slime rancher fans, let me know why, why that happened, please. Final thoughts. I can see why this game was requested and I can see why it received the critical acclaim it did. If you want to learn more about Beatrix, the ranchers that I didn't go much in depth on, the story, and raise a farm of distinct and cute colored slimes, just make sure they don't turn into tar, play the game yourself. See ya!